This video is one of two that will help you set your Facebook settings and help you control who you share information with. This video will walk you through your privacy settings and will talk about how to protect your privacy by following some simple actions. Make sure you also watch the video about setting your account settings. Let's get started. Start by logging into Facebook with your email address and password as usual. The first page you see is your news feed. Before we go to your privacy settings, let's take a moment to learn about Facebook's timeline. Timeline is Facebook's latest update to your profile. It puts all of your stories, posts, photos and apps in one place. Go to facebook.com slash timeline and watch the video or scroll down the page to learn more. If you don't have timeline yet, you can choose to preview your timeline for seven days before your friends can see it too. This will give you time to decide what stories or photos you want to keep or delete from your timeline and allow you to control who sees your posts. Click the drop down arrow in the top right corner. This is where you can see and edit your account and privacy settings. Click on privacy settings. This is where you control how much information you share with your friends. The first section, Control Privacy When You Post, tells you that you can control the privacy of your status and photo updates directly on your timeline. Next, under Control Your Default Privacy, you can select a favorite privacy setting from the three options here. Public means everyone on Facebook, even people you don't know. Friends means only your friends and custom will allow you to make a combination of the two. It's safest just to share updates with your friends. Next, let's look at how you connect with the people you know. Click Edit Settings. Here you can control who can find your profile in Facebook's search, send you friend requests, send you Facebook messages, post to your wall, and see wall posts by others on your wall. It is safest to select friends, but it's also okay to select friends of friends. You need to pick the setting you feel most comfortable with. Remember, it is not safe to accept friend requests or respond to messages from people you do not know in real life. It is okay to say no. Next, set up how you want to be tagged in your friends' photo and status updates. Tags attach your name to photos and status updates. Here you can say if you want to approve photo and status tags by your friends before they get posted on your profile. It's a good idea to turn this on so that you have full control of the photos and status updates you're tagged on. You can also say if you want to approve tags that your friends make on your photos and status updates, control who can see the photo and status updates you're tagged on, and control if your friends can check you into places. When you're done in this section, click Done. Next, control what information you share with apps, games, and websites. Apps can be a huge security risk on Facebook because they often need access to your personal information. Click Edit Settings to see which apps you're currently using. Each app is unique, so take some time to look at what information you're sharing with them. If you don't have any apps or don't want them, it's a good idea to turn apps off. This protects your information from apps that your friends may be using as well. If you decide to keep apps on, this next section will let you control the information your friends share with the apps they use. It's best to uncheck the things in this section that you want to keep private, like your birthday, status updates, or where you live. To be safe, uncheck everything. The next section is new to Facebook. Instant personalization shows you information about your friends' visits to some websites like Yelp, TripAdvisor, or Rotten Tomatoes. Take a moment to watch Facebook's video on this new feature. Or click Close, then you can choose to enable or allow, or disable, not allow, this feature. Next, take a look at what information is shown to others when someone searches for your profile using a search engine like Google or Bing. It is safest to disable or not allow public search so that people can only find your profile if they're on Facebook. Done? Go back to your privacy settings. 
In this next section, you can change the privacy on posts you've already published. If you're happy with your privacy settings, then this section may not be needed. But if you've been posting everything to the public and want to change this to only friends, click Manage Past Post Visibility, then Limit Old Posts and Confirm. The next section is where you can block or restrict users and activities. If someone is making you feel unsafe or uncomfortable on Facebook and you want to block them, enter their name or email address here. This will mean that the person is no longer able to see you or talk to you on Facebook. The person you block will not get a notification saying that you've blocked them. You can also block app invites from games like Farmville, as well as event invites from people you may not want to get invites from. Facebook can be a fun place to connect and share with your friends. You can be safe online by setting up some safe settings to protect yourself and your friends. Double check your settings often because Facebook can change things. For more information about how you can be safe online, visit ICanBeSafeOnline.com or join us on Facebook and Twitter at SafeOnlineCLBC.